Welcome to the Cappy Smack Show, starring Cappy Smack. Brought to you by Cappy Smack. Makers of Cappy Smack. Make sure your smack is Cappy Smack. You can get your Cappy Smack right here. And only right here. Live and in color. Except now it's not live. But it is in color. And as we load into the game, contemplate the meaning of patience. And how patience can help you heal. Patience can heal all wounds. Entering safe area. What can I do for you? That's good stuff. Good trading with you, Agent. That's good stuff. Here to check something out? in need of backup. I spent my time yesterday night on my live stream. We're doing the same mission over and over, trying to get something that uh, has very low drop rate chance. Some people get it five times. And because they get it five times and it has a low drop rate chance, other people are never going to get it. I am clearly one of those destined to never be. But that'll happen when people don't understand random number generators and how they interact with large sets of people. Even a low percentage occurrence can happen quite often to the same person when you use a random number generator. Especially if you don't seed the random number generator prior to each instance of use. So let's say you had a web service whose job it was to pick a random number. And this web service is running in a web server that doesn't restart very often. Maybe it restarts once a month. Maybe you restart it every time you do your, your weekly maintenance. Whatever. 
It doesn't restart often. And it's only seated when it's restarted, for instance. But every single player out of population of, let's say, a million, will hit that web service to pick what their loot might be for a particular activity. Now let's say you have loot pools for each activity. But the loot pool is simply a pool of items you pick from and it doesn't ever decrease. Some people are going to get a lot of the item that's got a low percentage drop chance, and others You can it has exactly the same drop chance every single time. Now what if you had a pool of things a person could get based on a ran random number generator, but the pool is per player, per player per activity. And every time you pick something, the pool decreases for that month, for instance. And wherever the pool is depleted per player, it is reseeded with random number of items. See, now, if there is a 2% drop chance in something that's considered to be rare, if that player plays enough, the player will get the thing that has a low percentage drop chance, because now it's guaranteed per player. Whereas before, there were no guarantees. It was all pseudo-random occurrences. See if there's a... If you actually check the distribution of items, that actually happens, if you could. The actual distribution for both of those scenarios is going to be very different. Even though it doesn't seem it should be. Some game developers have figured this out and they come up with uh, log in, you get certain rewards, and we'll tell you in advance what those rewards are. Because we want you to feel rewarded. Even though our random number generators will probably let you feel cheated. I don't think I necessarily understand what's happening. But they are trying to counter it. Well, the game developers go, hey, we run our simulators and our simulators tell us people should feel rewarded. Yeah, well, your static simulator can't simulate a million people doing something. Because it just can't. All I can do is verify that you got a 2% drop chance for something. And it'll do that. But it's not going to guarantee that one person's not getting 5 and 80% of the rest of the population gets 0. I mean, ask yourself this, if one person, if one out of a hundred gets five of something, and there's a 2% drop chance, in order to maintain that 2%, how many other people get zero? Might be a 
uh, surprised to find out that there's actually a fair chance a lot of people are going to get zero. In order to maintain 2% drop chance. For instance, if you have a hundred people, you're going to have a hundred draws. If one person gets two out of a hundred draws, so on the you know one person drew two of those things, and there's a two percent drop chance. You've already consumed the two percent. Ninety-nine people are going to get zero. This is our last radio contact with Esperanza. Well, that's an there's hyenas all over the complex. Any idea what they're doing there? Not a clue. But logically, it's a valid point. If it's if, if you have a hundred people drawing, and the the first two people get one, and it's a two percent drop chance. You have received an invite to another. 98 people are guaranteed to get zero. You've already consumed the 2%. Where if it was based on a per person, rather than globally per instance, and there was a population of items that they were going to draw from, eventually they would be guaranteed to get the thing that has a 2% drop chance. Because you are consuming the pool of things they could get. If they pull from it often enough, eventually they're guaranteed to get it. Which is far more rewarding then 98 people never getting it because you've consumed the 2%. And then, and then the developers do silly things like, well, let's raise it to 20%. And they still don't understand how Another large agent scale is now distributions in your work based on a pseudo random number generator. Because now there's a 1 in 5 chance, it's 20%. Problem is Safe the area of data detected. That it takes to do the thing correctly ends up being pretty large, and it really doesn't scale. Last radio contact with Espinoza came from a parking garage close to the Shade Node. Isaac has the location.
Hostile radio intercepted. We're under attack! Intruders in the east entrance! Then kill them! What the fuck? It's a division! So? Fucking kill them! Look for a way down to the garage and see if you can pick up Espinosa's trail. He tends to leave. The Espinosa's last known position. The shade node should be close. Oh, at least she can't have gone far. She's a 
bastard. Agent credentials. No, the bastard is the guy. There should be a terminal that'll let you reactivate the node. The gun bar. Authorization granted. Please stand by. No, no, the girl is the bastard. Intelligent system analytic computer reactivated. All Isaac subsystems operational. That was the last step to getting Isaac fully restored locally. But we have a ways to go before we can celebrate. And a missing agent to locate. Continue your sweep of the complex. Hostile radio intercepted. Hello? Is this the division? Looking for someone? Who is this? How are you on this? Give me a real nice wristwatch. Right here. Want to talk to If you want him back, we can make a deal. You back off and deliver him on Agent down.
You can have them. Agent Vital Signs, zero. He didn't have to die here. Please.
done for Espinoza. That fucking hyena was toying with us. I hope she suffered a bit before you finished her off. Anyway, thanks to you, we're an important step closer to getting the Shade Network back to full strength. You did good. I'll see you around. An agent has left your group. Continue to uh, the, you know explore large pseudo random distributions across large populations. We continue to ponder why some people can run this mission over and over and over for weeks and not get the thing, but other people do it and they get five of the thing. In an odd sort of way, I'm making it possible for the people who get the five to get the five. Yeah, protection from elites is fairly useful. Incoming backup request. Two eighty five skill power minus four twenty five. You'd think it'd be more. And it is. Then I'd pick it up somewhere. Well, cooldown reduction is good. So let's see if I can pick it up somewhere. Well, 
I can pick it up there, but I lose protection from elites. But here I gain protection from elites. And this is a bit more armor. So that means if I go here, then I lose two of the four I need. It doesn't really help. And here I lose patience, so that's not going to work. And here I still have to pick up one. Which I'm probably not going to be able to do. Because I can't pick it up there. The only place I can pick it up is from here. See, ongoing, I can pick it up, and I get weapon handling. That's interesting. I wonder if there's any value to that. If I had another piece, which I don't, but I lost patience. See, I can pick up patience, but I can lose the other thing. So I'm still not quite there yet. It's a delicate balance. just don't have enough stuff. This is our last radio contact with Espinoza. There's hyenas all over the complex. Any idea what they're doing there? Not a clue. I'm gonna try to bypass. Radio contact with Espinoza came from a parking garage close to the shade node. She can't have gone far. I think that's the location. 
position. Hostile radio intercepted. We're under attack! Intruders in the east entrance! Then kill them! What the fuck? It's the division! So? Fucking kill them! Look for a way down to the garage and see if you can pick up Espinosa's trail. He tends to leave a mess. Sounds of gunfire in the morning. Espinosa's last known position. The shade node should be close. I don't want to put 
Exchange agent credentials. Authenticate. There should be a terminal that'll let you reactivate the node. Is there a terminal that lets me reactivate the terminal that reactivates the node? Authorization granted. Please stand by. Intelligent system analytic computer reactivated. All Isaac subsystems operational. That was the last step to getting Isaac fully restored locally. But we have a ways to go before we can celebrate. And a missing agent to locate. Continue your sweep of the complex. Hostile radio intercepted. Hello? Is this the division?
I'm on fire. Well, she can't have gone far. You and me, let's do it. <laughs> didn't have to die. Agent Vital Signs, zero. He didn't have to die here. Yes, he kind of did. I'm leaving you! What the fuck? It's in the script.
Talking the apocalypse, they get all stupid.
Safe area entered.
pleasure to see you. I know, I'm such a little light. <laughs> My inventory thanks you. I'm happy to have made it to you. And you're always happy. That guy's happy, happy, happy. Come over here, Agent. Take a look at what I've got for you. He's so happy. Greetings. And salutations. That filled my inventory. Thank you. That was a good deal. I was hoping it would. I could be an optimist? Really? Measures were really screwed up. for an og. my gear score. So I'm happy about that. Everything is priced to move. So are my bowels. Good 
good of you to stop by. You've got a sharp eye. Stop by. I appreciate the trade, Agent. I appreciate you appreciating the trade. I'm number two. Wow. It's because I'm grinding so much. Whatever you need. I've got it. At least it stopped raining. Should be, but you know, there might not be. Well, first you have to cut a hole in the wall. And then you have to install hinges. Want to make a deal? That's know. nice. What do you got? Doesn't look like you got all that much. Pleasure doing business with you. stuff and I left.
Leaving that zone. The best stuff in the city. Nice to see you. Top quality. I wouldn't go that far. I appreciate the business. Yes, it is time. Come on over and take a look. A pleasure to do business with you. Stuff and I left. If you want to call that doing business, then I'll look at your stuff a lot and then leave. Well, that is the show for this morning. Be sure to come back for the live stream. Be sure to follow and hit that notifications bell so you can know whenever Captain Smack is being Captain Smack.